Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to um, add some CSS and start talking to these tags down here that we have in the HTML. So all the stuff, we can talk to the body tag to do a background color on the body. We can talk to the H1 to design this large heading, and H3, and H4, and UL. We'll do a lot with that. We'll do a lot with the list item, a lot with the A tag right here, and a little bit with the image tag and some with the paragraph and a little bit with the HR. So again, we're going to just start taking each tag uh, separately and designing more and more and more in between the CS. We're done the CSS in between the style tags. So uh, we're done with HTML. So we're going to go up between the style and basically stay here for the rest of the videos until our, uh, our design is done. So the first thing we're going to do is Let's go ahead and give the body a background color for now. Uh, later on, we're going to put a, uh, a background image, uh, a texture, and we're going to make it repeat. So, but for now, let's give, I'm going to say, hey, uh, computer, I have a, a tag on there called body, and then I do the open curly bracket, and I hit the return key a couple times and close it. And so again, I tell the computer what tag I want to mess around with that's down there in between the HTML, in between the body tags. And this is the body tag. And I create a laundry list in between the curly brackets of how I want to change the look of that tag. So it's the whole page. So I want to say background, sorry, uh, background. And I can just use the word background, believe it or not. And uh, let me give it, um, I have no idea what this is, 99cc99. Let's see how bad that is. So I'm going to save it and update it. Actually, I have my, my page somewhere here. Let me reload it. Aha, so it's kind of a green. We'll go with that. OK? And again, all I did was that one line of code. I'm talking to the whole page because I'm talking to the body tag. And I say background. And then I give it uh, one of those hexadecimal color numbers with a number sign in front of it. Again, we can go to color lovers and get those. I just guessed. Um, so I guess, uh, you know, wasn't that bad. So the next thing we're going to do is we have our background, a uh, uh, body of background. Now we're going to talk to the, the, um, we're going to leave these how they are right now, but we are going to talk to the, uh, the UL tag and we're going to talk to the whole unordered list. So we're literally, once we talk to the UL tag, we're actually going to give the whole UL here a width of a width of so many pixels okay so the first thing we're gonna do is say hey computer we have a UL tag down there and again do the open curly bracket hit the return key and close off the curly bracket and then add in between the curly brackets a laundry list of stuff first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say we want a, a width we want our unordered list to be have a width of um, 220 pixels Okay. And right now, if we want, we can say um, background, and we can give it a, a color. Let's give it a just a light gray, just so we can see it. Okay. And again, what we'll do is let's see, let's see what happened here. So there it is, right there. It gives us kind of shows us where our unordered list, uh, width wise and height wise, stops and starts. I like to do that when I'm designing, just so I can kind of see where elements are being placed on the page. Okay? Now, the other thing we're going to do is we are going to do one more thing um, in the HTML. Um, you'll notice that uh, right below the class projects right here, we have that unordered list. And then right below it, we have the image and then the paragraphs. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to box up the image and the paragraphs and that little HR tag in between the paragraphs together. And I want to keep them as a box, kind of keep them together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I'm going to use a tag called a div, D-I-V, and I'm going to give it a, an ID name. An ID name is different from a class name in the fact that a class name, like we're using for the image, it can be used multiple times on the same page. 
an ID name can only be used once. So I'm going to call this div box. Okay? And notice I've started the box uh, just above the image. So I want the image and the paragraphs inside the box. So I started it above everything that I want to keep, in, to, uh, keep together. I'm going to scroll down and right here at the closing of the last paragraph, I want to close off that box, close off that div tag, now called box. Okay? And what I'm going to do is now we've boxed up the image and the paragraphs together. And what I'm going to do is, just like wrapping images, I'm going to float this image to the left. I'm going to give this, this box a width of 700 pixels. I'm actually going to go 600 because I have a small screen. I want you guys to go 700. Um, and I'm going to float this image to the left. And what's going to happen is the image, because the box is 600 pixels wide or 700, the image is only, what, 250 or 300. It's going to float to the left, go to the left. Any open space on the right-hand side, the paragraphs will take over and go up there. Okay? And then I'll give a, a background color to the, the box so we can see it. Okay? So what I'm going to do is two things. I'm going to go up to my CSS, and I'm going to go just below what I just typed. I'm going to say, hey, computer, we have a thing down there called box. That's the ID name called box, the div. I'm going to do my open curly brackets and then hit the return key and close off my curly brackets. I'm going to say, hey, I want the box to have a width of, again, for me, 600 pixels. You could do 700 if you like. And I'm going to give it um, a background color. Let's say background color. And I have, again, I have no idea. Let's go 999. That might be red. We'll see. Okay? The next thing I'm going to do is inside that box, I'm going to float that image. So again, I'm going to talk to the computer. I'm going to say, hey, computer, there's a thing called box down there. And inside of it, there's a class name called image1. And here's what I want to do to that image1 only inside the box. And I'll show you how to be specific like that. So if I have any other images, any place on my page, it's not going to even do anything with those. It's only going to affect the image inside the box because I'm telling it so. So I'm going to go up to my CSS. And right below the box, I'm going to say, hey, computer, there's a thing called box down there. And inside of it, I gave something a class name called image1. And here's what I want to do just with that thing inside the box. I'm going to say float left. OK? So again, I, I gave a width to the box. And inside the box, I'm floating that image to the left, which means the paragraph of text is going to, is going to go up to any open space on the right-hand side of the image. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. Okay, so now what we have is we have a box and 999, we found out it's kind of a darker gray. <laughs> okay, and then we have the paragraph of text uh, going up beside it. Okay, now what we want to do is see how, the, see how the unordered list is above the image and the box holding the paragraph. I want the box to move up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to float this, this unordered list left. And by doing that, again, when you float left, it opens up any space on the page that's on the right-hand side, and the element right below it can scoot up against it. Okay, so I'm going to float the unordered list left. This box holding the image and the paragraphs will, will go up to any open space beside it. Okay, so... Easy peasy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more line. Again, we're creating a laundry list of stuff in between the curly brackets. I'm going to add one more line to the UL. I'm going to say float left. Okay? And again, let me click on this, and I'll reload it, and boom. 
okay? Now, something that happened was, notice that the box is underneath the unordered list. See how it looks like the unordered list is part of the box? It actually isn't, okay? And what we're going to do, we're going to use something called margin. And there are two things in web design um, that are very similar, but they, there is a difference. One of them is margin. Margin is space outside of an element. And padding is space inside of an element. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this box that's holding the image and the paragraph. Excuse me. And we're going to move it. We're going to say margin dash left on the left hand side of the box. Um, a margin dash left. Um, 300 px and remember the unordered list is 220 px wide so it's going to move the box just to the just on the right hand side with a little bit of empty space and that's where the box holding the image and the unordered list is going to I mean the image and the paragraphs are going to take place so let me uh, go back um, I'll talk to box right here again I'm going to add some stuff come on computer there we go. Add something in between the curly brackets. And I'm going to say, hey, box, we want you to move over to the right. So we're going to give you a margin left of 300 px. OK. And I'm going to reload it. And sure enough, there it is. OK. It's starting to look sort of like a page. All right. Now, let's go ahead and keep in the box, and let's, let's try to design some elements inside the box, okay? First of all, let's go to 700 pixels. Uh, remember I said I could go to 600? I think I can go 700, and that's where I'd recommend you going. I'm going to save that, and then see how I'm going to save it and update it, okay? It's a little bit wider. Now, the, the issue is, see how tight everything is in the box? The image goes right up to the, the edge. The paragraphs are right up against the image and right up against the edge. And notice the paragraphs are kind of, they don't have a lot of line structure. See how this line down here and, and over here, it's, it's kind of, uh, design-wise, it's, it's not um, so clean. So I'm going to create some empty space inside the box, create some empty space around the image and actually I'm going to justify the paragraph of text and you'll see the lines get much cleaner so and I'm also going to um, make the paragraphs of text bigger by using something um, called EM okay so I'm going to go back to my coding I'm going to go up to uh, the image here we go down to the image here and here's the one thing I'm doing. I'm floating it left. I've got to hit the recur to return key. And I'm going to say, hey, I want to create some padding around the image. Or we can create some margin. It's outside the image. Let's say margin 15px. That'll be margin on every side. If I did, um, so what I'm telling you on the computer, on every side, top, right, bottom, left, give me empty space of a margin of 15 pixels. And let me show you what that's like. And then we're going to uh, reload. So there, it's created 15 pixels on either side of empty space. Okay? And you notice it's, it's much getting much cleaner. Okay? The other thing we're going to do is, let me show you, if I give the computer two numbers here, so I say 15px and 25px, what, what in web design, what this does is the first number is the top and bottom, and the second number is the right and left, left and right. Okay? So let me go ahead and save that, and I'll show you. You can use two numbers if you need that. A lot of times what happens is uh, designers will... Give it a margin on top and bottom, and then say auto to place it in the middle. We won't do that, but that's typically when you have a uh, box model, uh, that's typically what, what will happen. So 
Let me give, uh, I'll do just one number here for now. Okay, and I'll reload it. There you go, okay. Now, again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk to the P tag and let's make that text bigger. And we're gonna use something called EM. So again, I'm gonna put my return key just to the right of that closing curly bracket, still inside the style tag. So there's my closing style tag. And I'm gonna say, hey, we have a, a paragraph tags down there. And here's what I wanna do. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna change the font size font size, and again, we're gonna use EM. One EM is normal. So whatever, par whatever is normal for a P tag, paragraph of text, in web design, in coding, in HTML, that's gonna be the norm. One EM is normal. So we're gonna, it's, it's usually, it could be maybe 16 points or 12 points. So we're gonna go 1.4 EM and try that. Notice how the EM turns blue. It, the computer recognizes that terminology. Okay? So I'm going to save it and update it. And sure enough, it's gra greatly improved the readability of my text. Okay? So we're on our way. The next thing we're going to do is let's create a little border around my image and I'm going to use padding. I'm going to make a background color for my image and then give it 10 pixels of padding I think. So all I'm going to do is again I'm adding to the laundry list for the image inside the box. I'm going to say hey computer give me padding uh, space inside the around the image but actually inside of it of 10 px and that's on every side and then a semicolon to end the line. And then I'm going to give it a background color and a number sign, FFF, that's white. That's true white. Okay, true black is 000, true white is FFF. Okay, and I will go like that and reload it. And now it's created a, a little de definition around my, uh, my picture. Okay, so, so uh, it's looking pretty good. Now, I'm going to justify the paragraph of text again you'll see it kind of clean up you'll notice have you have clean lines here but on the right hand side it just kind of is all over the place okay so we're going to go back to the coding add to our laundry list for the paragraph tag right here and we're going to say we want to um uh Uh, text dash align. I had to think about it for a second. Justify. Justify. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I think that's it. And so I'm going to save that. Let's see if I spell it right. Yeah. Now notice that some of it right here created some empty spacing here. So we'll take, their, take, take care of that in a little bit. But also notice that it really did a fairly good job of cleaning up the lines of our paragraph. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is, see it's still a little tight inside this box. So we're going to create some padding inside the box that's going to create some empty space around the box. So everything inside the box, the box is going to get a little bit bigger to create just empty space. And we're going to talk to the box itself. So we're going to go up here. Again, add a line of our laundry list. Say, hey, computer, we want some padding inside the box. And give me padding of 20 pixels. And I'm going to save it. And then reload or update. OK. And it's created some empty space inside the box here, outside of all the different parts of our box. OK. And again, it's made it easier visually to to view and to read and to really kind of take in, okay? So go ahead and do that. On the next video, we're gonna um, download font face fonts and we're gonna load font face, font face fonts onto these um, headings and then we're gonna totally design the unordered list.